Hello YouTube, El Mossy Show up here and I have for you guys today in a new showdown live. Yes, I know it's been about a month since I've done one <laughs> and uh, for good reason because after my last new live and you did kind of get a little bit boring for me but we got new Pokemon that dropped to Enyu recently. So of course if you guys do enjoy the showdown live make sure to hit the like button down below one like can definitely go a long way and for those of you who don't know uh, the Pokemon that dropped down to Enyu were Claydol, Quagsire, uh, Virizion, Heliolisk, and Mawile. I think I think that's all that dropped, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, let me know how you guys who have recently been playing Enyu, if you've used a new Pokemon, what do you think about them? Do you think they're good in the tier, or what do you think of Enyu now that we have the new additions? Because this is the first time Pokemon have dropped down to Enyu in months like you guys have no idea how frustrating it got knowing that no new Pokemon would drop and finally we got some good additions so here we have a Salvis Hariyama just tech fire spam uh, this is a very hyper offensively based team the only real walls are Mesprit and Hariyama I guess you could say then we have tank Mesprit with rocks and healing wish because I do have a double SD core so if these guys get weakened or status then I can just healing wish to one of them and then uh, set up also I have Dragonets for alligator which apparently is very good and I have Wakombear so I can set up on uh, Heliolisk and any other Pokemon that typically carry electric type moves. And then we have Heliolisk with Hidden Power Flying. The reason why is because this thing is a giant threat to my team. And I think Hidden Power Flying Okoza and then she's just dual stab and then Grass Knot for uh, Seismitoad and Quagsire. And also Fire Blast is on Mawa because apparently uh, it does like 50% to... Uh, the standard Steelix, which apparently is no longer Spadef bulky, so yeah, just showed you guys how long I've been out of the loop. But yeah, that is a quick introduction to the team. Very fun. I did have a few battles with it, and just, yeah, I'm excited, so let's get this started. Alright, so we run into our first battle, and oh, <laughs> this team looks scary. Okay, uh, I'm actually very terrified of this team. I feel like I'm gonna get uh, Betty bopped right away. Um, I don't know how much Grass Knot does to Lantern, though. Oh, Archeops! Holy crap, I did not take into consideration Archeops when I made this team, did I? I did not. Um, I'm just gonna lead off with my Mesprit, I think. Yeah, because that's the best lead for me here, as he ends up leading off with the Hariyama, so this is good for me. And he's probably just gonna go straight for a Fake Out, most likely. So it doesn't really matter what I do, but I'm just going to go ahead and click Stealth Rocks here, and that is Skype. Sorry. Uh, yeah, he really has no reason not to just go for the Fake Out, as he does end up getting the flinch. I do have Leftovers though, which is fine. I kind of just want to be aggressive and go for the Psychic. Because weakening this Hariyama is going to be very good for me, especially with me having Heliolisk. Um, he could also predict me to switch out into Virizion, but I don't think he's going to do that. His best switch in is probably the Lantern or the Mega Steelix. So I think what I'm going to do is just go for the Psychic either way. It just died. What? How did that Oko? I don't know why it just died. If it was a Saw Vester, there's no way that should have vocoded. Holy crap. I'm baffled. And that fake out didn't do too much damage to me. He, I really hope he didn't forget to put EVs, because that's the only thing I can think of right now. But I'm just going to pause until he decides to pick him on. Alright, so I ended up bringing in the Mega Steelix. Uh, I, I want to say... I always, I don't, I always forget if Steel resists... Um... If it resists Psychic. Okay, well, Ice Beam does more regardless. Mm. 
and I do have to start weakening this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna fire up on Ice Team just to start weakening Megalix, cause it is very, very bulky. Apparently, some people have been trying to petition to get this thing banned from from NU. I'm not sure why. I don't really think it's that broken. I mean, it is. It is good. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's well. I think what Tennis and Richard said is not the fact that it's it's broken, it's the fact that it's over centralizing the metagame. I think is what they said. Freeze! No freeze, it's fine though. Oh my lord, why does that do so much? Holy crap. Leave, this has to go. I don't like this. I don't want it here. <laughs> Too much damage. Too much damage. Uh, I have half a mind to just switch right into my Feraligator. Because it's the only thing that I'll switch in right now. How much, I wonder how much Grass Knot... I don't think Grass Knot does enough from Heliolisk. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a roll. Well, that's if he's put Death Bulky. Hold on. I uh, should have kept this open first. Ice Beam... Okay, if he was for Death Bulky, Ice Beam wouldn't have done 28%. So yeah, Grass Knot should knock him out, I think. I want to say it will. Yeah, he's not running any spadef investment. No, we don't want to go calm. Uh, back to Heliolisk real quick. Okay, yeah, Grass Knot destroys the soul at this point. So I'm gonna get on my Stealth Rocks, if anything. Um, he could EQ predicting me to switch. So unfortunately, I, I lose. Uh, losing that's gonna really come back to bite me later. I just know it. But Heliolus should be able to come in. I want to see. I wonder how much Vile Plume takes. I have Hidden Power Flying too, just in case. Hyper Voice. Oh crap! Hyper Voice does so much damage. Jesus. Okay. Well, Grass Knot should knock this out if the damage calc is correct. Okay, good. I was a little scared that it would live, and I was like, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I can still keep Archeops in check, because I do have Fake Out Bullet Punch on my Hariyama. And Bullet Punch does like over 50%, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, um... He could bring in the Lantern, but I don't know how much damage it'll take from Grass Knot. Oh yeah, Grass Knot does nothing. Hyper Boys does way more. So he does end up bringing in the Archops. He definitely has Earthquake if he would bring it in like that. Uh, I don't see Mawile doing much in this battle. I mean, I do take on Polyrath, I suppose. I can get off a huge hit on Lantern. Um, Gator is completely stopped by Polyrath. And obviously Acrobatics annihilates Verizion. I think Gator right now is the least helpful thing to me. Because Heliolus still can put in some work to his team. And Vileplume stops Gator for the most part. So he's gonna go for the Acrobatics. Unfortunately, I don't have Aqua Jet, which sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna Earthquake on the off chance that he switches out. Yeah, okay, so that's good. I managed to catch the incoming Polyrath. So I get off a little bit of damage on that thing. As. I think I'm just gonna Earthquake again. Because as long as I have Heliolisk, this thing shouldn't be a threat to me. And they carry Vital Throw, so I know he's not going to go for a Waterfall, obviously, because I do have Heliolisk. Not Vital Throw, sorry. Circle Throw. Circle Throw is what they carry. Oh, uh, will Hyper Voice knock it out? I 
Ah, ah. Whoa, whoa, what am I doing? Hello? Why can I not type? This is why I don't record in the morning. No, I'll just put to a death pokey. Hypervoid does 39. Yeah, Bolt Switch will knock it out. But I wanted a Hyper Voice on the off chance that he switched. Well, how much did Earthquake do? It did 31%. I think I'm adamant. So, yeah, he's Spadef Bulky then. Um. is a tough situation. Actually, I could just bring in Mawa to play rough. Yeah. Yeah, Mawa should be able to come in and play rough. As long as I don't... As long as I don't miss, I should be fine. As long as I don't miss, I'm in, I'm in a good situation. So I'm gonna go straight for the play rough. I also have Fire Blast to hit up the uh, Vile Plume, which will be great. As he does bring it in. So, get off a decent bit of damage. Oh, are you kidding me? He has Rocky Helmet. So yeah, I'm definitely going to Fire Blast this turn. Well, I guess if he had Sleep Powder, this isn't bad because now he can't put me to sleep. So that's kind of nice, but... Uh, this Paralysis could, ba could come back to haunt me later. I'm just going to Fire Blast here. Oh my lord, the damage! Holy crap. That's a pretty good amount of damage. I knew it would do over 50%, but damn, 61, that's really good. Ah, uh, is he really gonna play this game? Can I get a crit then? Thank you, that's what you deserve for trying to play this game. So here I'm gonna switch into Heliolisk, because after this Moonlight, he should still be in the range where Hyper Voice can knock him out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight for the Hyper Voice. Plus, nothing on the team safely switches in except for the um, Arch Alps, which even then shouldn't be uh, that big of an issue. As he actually brings in the Lantern, hopefully that's a 2 KO. No, my lord. Oh, that did nothing. See, Lantern always runs such weird spreads. So I don't exactly know what he's going to be running. Yeah, he's very spadev bulky then. Uh, Volt Switch will do not enough to me, actually. But what about Ice Beam? Ice Beam does a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna Hyper Voice. I'm gonna Hyper Voice, I think. I'm just gonna be aggressive. Come, please, Scald. Oh, Signal Beam. Okay, thankfully no confusion, which is great. As I can just Hyper Voice again here. So I knock out the Lantern, which is good. Unfortunately, I only have one more Life Orb hit left in my Heliolus, because once I switch out and switch back in, I'll be down to uh, 3%. And he can just bring in Archeops here and Acrobatics for no, for just free, pretty much. Uh, Archeops is such an issue right now. No, why? Why is there not a Hariyama set yet? Pretty sure this is used enough by now. No, he brings in Polyrath. What? Hidden Power Flying should knock this out, I think. Yeah, and we've, we've established that he's also Spadev Bulky. Um, I apologize for all the damage cows that I'm running, guys. It's just that I don't know the damage output of Heliolus to some of these mons, so that's why I'm, I'm doing all of this. Hyper Voice should still just be my better play, I think. 
Yeah, hyper voicing. I have no reason not to. I don't know why he didn't bring in the. Oh, oh, okay, okay. He has vacuum wave. Holy crap. Was not expecting that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring a Verizzi on here. Uh, I'm gonna Zen Headbutt. Just right away. Because there's a chance he'll probably want to switch right into a Vio Plume. Nope, as I'm able to knock out the Polyrath. Okay, this battle is going to be pretty close. This Art Shop is such a problem, though. That's the thing. Uh, I have to switch out. I have to switch out. I can't stand. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. So acrobatics does way too much to me as I'm going to play rough, I think. Just predicting him to roost. And it just died. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I think I think that may be game. I think that may be game. Loaded my mistake. Old team with defensive Hariyama and no earthquake arch ups. Oh. Well then. Uh, he could still potentially win with Vile Plume. He really could. Because um, I don't have Ice Punch. And Virizion is weak to Sludge Bomb. See, look, Sludge Bomb does way too much to me. Crap. The headbutt does. Oh my lord, that does nothing. I have to fire blast here. I just hope I don't miss. Thank you. Okay, so I can still apply um, my mall while is just putting in the work right now. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Eventually, I'll, I'll crit again or miss. I don't know how many moonlights he's gone for so far. Ah, and there it is, boys. I'm not upset by that because I did hit quite a few of them, especially with me being uh, paralyzed. This is a pretty good battle, though. I did make some misplays, I think. Uh, Art Shops is definitely a problem to this team. For sure. Although I think I may be able to live a Giga Drain. So I can still maybe get off this Fire Blast damage. So yeah, Fire Blast Mawa putting in the mightiest of work right now. Uh, this one battle is 18 minutes. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this is a tough situation. This really is. Oh crap, okay, this is not good. This is not good. I think he still won this. I think he might have still just won this, actually. If he poisons me, then I then I'm screwed. I'm just gonna Zen headbutt. As I get the flinch, okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna sword Zant here, predicting him to go for moonlight. Got him. Okay, so that that flinch really helped me out here. That's actually his final Moonlight, I think. So I can send Headbutt again. Oh, yes! Oh, wow, 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 wow. That was really lucky on my part. And Close Combat knocks him out here. 
So Alvarizion coming through and saving me at the end, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that was his last Moonlight. Yeah, because if I look at Moonlight, there's eight right here. So yeah. Uh, the Control F Moonlight. So, I don't know. Because even if he went for another Moonlight, then I still probably would have knocked him out. Oh, I forgot to put Life Orb on this. Okay. Wow, I got absolute minimum damage with Zen Headbutt. So I guess that kind of makes up for it. <laughs> Bad game. <laughs> I can taste the salt, friend. But yeah, see, look. It, it's still... Yeah, if I didn't even get a complete low damage roll... Oh, well. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, some people will just be salty. So yeah, we're gonna go get another battle or two, hopefully, because this is already like 21 minutes long, so I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so we got the second battle here, and this dude has a pretty cool-looking team. Why are you here? Go away! Ugh! I need to better prepare for our chops. I have to, or either turn this to SD Gator, or something. Um, he's probably gonna lead off with Rotom. So I kind of, actually, I just kind of want to lead off with Heliobus to be honest. I want wait. How much did I do to Sand Slash? I don't think I Oko Sand Slash. I'll just go two fifteen. Oh, are you kidding me? Grass Dot does nothing. If I had Surf. If I had Surf, I would straight up Oko this thing. Uh. Well, there's a chance he'll lead off with um, Archie Ops, actually. Nah, I'm just lead off with Mesprit. Just gonna lead off with Mesprit. Mesprit's my best lead. Best lead. As he does lead off with the Archie Ops. Okay, this is good. So, I'm gonna go straight for an Ice Beam. I really lose nothing in doing so. As he... Oh, thank you, thank you. He is the uh, tennis lead set. Okay, this is... This is actually really great for me because now I don't... I no longer have to worry about this thing late game. Unfortunately, though, he can either go for an Endeavor or go for Stealth Rocks. I don't know what would be more beneficial to him here. Rocks don't really affect my team, so I feel like he's gonna go for the Endeavor instead. And then he could get a free switch into, um... Malamar and get up a free boost. That'll be really bad, actually. Uh, what do I not need in this battle? Mawile at speeds, and that can actually do some damage to his team. I think I don't need Mesprit. If he does Endeavor, I think Endeavoring would, yeah, Endeavor is his better play because Rocks don't really hurt my team too much. So thankfully, uh, Archchops, a giant threat, has been averted. Has been avoided. Is it avoided or averted? It's one of the two. Also, also, uh, apparently, my last showdown live, like, glitched out from like six to eight minutes. I, I don't know why. I watched the replay after I rendered it and it was perfectly fine. I'm guessing that was an error on YouTube's part or something, but yeah, I apologize about that. I actually forgot to acknowledge that earlier, so hopefully that won't happen with this live. So, uh, let's see what he wants to bring in. Actually, did I hack the other dude? Did I really? Because, I mean, Zen Headbutt still would have annihilated him. I don't know. 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 Ugh. Uh, disconnected and has a minute to reconnect. Okay, I'm just gonna pause. Okay, he joined back. I'm just gonna pause. So, he ends up bringing it in. Bringing it in. Bringing in the Rotom. Unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice but to fodder off mess right here, I think. The only thing I would be able to outspeed is a Sand Slash. I mean, I put, I put, uh, mess right here for Healing Wish and... It's kind of been too much of a useful pivot for me. I'm just gonna ice beam. Just gonna ice beam because I have to fodder this off anyways. Uh, 
Ah, I need to. We almost put Seismitoad on this team. Which is what I should have done. So he brings a Malamar. This is a blatant free switch into my Mawile. I'm about to play rough. There's no reason for me not to click play rough. Look at his team. Nothing. I'm adamant max attack. It just died. It just died. You don't know. You, inf Ladies and gentlemen, it just died. So he brings in the Sand Slash. I highly doubt Fire Blast would do anything to this. Uh, although he could just get up his rocks. I still... Because like... Well, no, because if he has Hidden Power Fire on this, I can still check a Rotom, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I don't even have Leaf Blade on this thing. Yeah, certain physical walls are an issue to this team, actually. I need to keep this healthy for his Lily game. I think Gator is probably the most expendable thing. Well, I wouldn't say the most expendable thing, but it's a thing that that I can just switch in right now and be fine with. So he goes for a uh, Toxic. Okay. Uh, I kind of just want to Ice Punch. Although there's a chance he'll bring in his own Gator. So I think what I'm going to do... Well, no, because see, I don't want to pull a double and him stay in. Uh, I could double into Virizion. Yeah, because I should still be able to deal damage to Lilligan and Gator. Okay, okay, good thing I did not bring in Heliolisk like I wanted to. Good thing that did not happen. I really want a Stone Edge. I want a Stone Edge. There's no reason he should stay in here. Bop, bop, get Betty, bop, why did it live? Why? No, 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 I call shit, I call bull. No, no, where, where, where is it? Rotom fan, no. No, that's World Ro Time Frost, World Time Fan. Same, same thing. No. No. Oh! <laughs> no. Damn it, Virizion. Why? <laughs> this is terrible for me. Oh crap! This is bad. This is really bad. I may have to just switch right into Heliolus to weaken Sand Slash. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch right into Heliolus. Are you. <laughs> That's so upsetting! It's really upsetting. Okay, thankfully he just air slashed. So as long as he doesn't flinch me five times in a row, I should be good. Should be in a good scenario here. Please flinch me. There it is, boys. I'ma just... Uh, no. Go through, just just hyper voice. Or you can do that, that works. What the hell? Oh, that's right. I don't know why I switched. That was just a, a blame frustration play. And yeah, now I'm in a terrible scenario. Ugh. That upset me so much, and I played. I mean, uh, well, him flinching me. Actually, I shouldn't even be upset that he flinched me because I called it. So technically, it's not hacks. There's naughty nature, naughty, naughty, naughty. Fire blasts, life orb, sheer force. Okay, fire blast does more than play rough. I'm just gonna fire blast. I made a really dumb play. And I still have Hariyama to check Lil again. <laughs> As I got a pretty nice damage roll on that one. 
And now I should be able to just bring in Gator here. Actually, no, I can bring in Heliolus now. Okay, so yeah, that worked out, actually, because now you should be able to just Hyper Voice, right? Yeah. I'm going to be safe about this. Yeah, Hyper Voice is a guaranteed knockout at this range. Hell, even Grass Knight or Hidden Power. Well, even Grass Knight, I should say. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Something's getting knocked out. I outspeed Lilligan and I outspeed Gator either way, so I'm not in a bad scenario whatsoever here. I guess me making that dumb play with Maul actually kind of helped me out here because I was able to weaken Sandslash to the point where uh, Heatherless pretty much guaranteed the KO. So yeah, I'm still in a pretty solid situation. I definitely see myself uh, pulling out the victory as long as I don't choke or mess up terribly. I should be fine. Ah. Uh. So, okay, ah, see, this is what I'm afraid of. The question is, is he just gonna... No, Heliolus just comes in too handy right now. So does... Verizion uh, comes in handy to an extent. I guess Gator. I'm gonna just switch into Gator. And hope that he doesn't Volt Switch. Hope that he just Air Slashes. He did just air slash. Okay, good. Um. I'm gonna ice punch. If he doesn't flinch me, I'll be fine. Yes! Get Betty bopped! Oh, yes! Okay, that's good. This is good. This is good. Me getting off that damage is really helpful to me. Unfortunately, right now, my gator is more of a... It's not an asset, it's more of a of a bad thing for me to keep it because he can set up with his gator or my gator and I don't know how to speed the Rotom either way. So I'm just going to leave in my gator, just go for the Ice Punch. Actually no, I'm going to Earth. Well, yeah, okay, doesn't matter. Plus we all know the Cancel button doesn't work. Okay, so let's see, Lilligant. Uh, Hyper Voice and Hidden Power Flying should knock him out. See, I can just bring back in Heliolisk. Heliolisk, man, putting in the mightiest of work. Wow. Hell, Hyper Voice is more. Even though it's stab. See, that's always a, um, a misconception. A stab move isn't always guaranteed to do more to a Pokemon. If you get what I'm trying to say. For example, in this case, Hidden Power... We'll just say this is Hidden Power Flying, because HP Ice and Flying are both super effective. It does 78 to 92, but Stabbed Hyper Voice does 87 to 103. So yeah, Stab isn't always better. As he brings in the threat... My question is, what do... Uh, I guess Hariyama would come in more handy, although... Uh, see, if I Leaf Blade, I wouldn't be worried about this. Well, if I bring in Hariyama, I know I can live a an Air Slash. So yeah, I'm actually going to bring in Hariyama. I know I can take Air Slash and I can just go straight for a Fake Out. Yeah, I'm going to take that pretty well. And then I can just go for Fake Out here. And if it brings in Gator, I can just hit it up with the Close Combat. And then uh, just go from there. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight for the CC. And I can find out if he is uh, Dragon Dance or not. Okay, so he has Life Form. So maybe he was Dragon Dance? He could have been, potentially. But because he's life orbed, I'm just gonna go ahead and sack off Verizion because Heliolisk is the MVP. Because at this point, all I have to do is just uh, let this get knocked out. As he brings in Rotom, I can just bring in Hariyama and then fake out and win. But I actually ended up living the return. He was forced to go for return, I suppose, because I do have Heliolisk with dry skin. As he brings in the Verizion. And see, look, this guy's a good sport. GG, buddy. GG. And yeah, that is going to be the game. Because Yama can just come in and I can just uh, fake out. So yeah, the misplay with Mawal and that flinch. Actually, that flinch led to the play with Mawal that actually really helped me out being able to get rid of his um, Sand Slash. So I'm going to fake out because I'm not going to risk Bullet Punch doing 1%, even though I'm at my max attack. But my luck, he'll live on 1%.
So yeah, guys, it has been 35 minutes. I, I think that's a good a good amount of time. Um, I, I normally like to ask questions at the beginning of lives, but um, how how long would you guys like these lives to go? I, I normally try to make it between uh, like 30, 40 minutes at most. Unfortunately, we only got two battles. But yeah, let me know. Also, if you did enjoy the team and did enjoy the live. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below and to let me know what you guys think of the new drops to end you. Uh, I can tell you right now, Heliolisk. Woo, this thing is a monster. Good lord, this thing is powerful. This thing is going to be definitely A ranked at least. Uh, Virizion is pretty cool too. Uh, definitely did help me out in that second match. And Mawile really came through. I mean, helped me out in the first match. And then Mawile came through in the second battle. And just, yeah, I get it, didn't really get to do much. But. What can you do? Hariyama. What, what more can I say? So that being said, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow with another video. So, later, everybody.